Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs and video games, and today I'm playing Ori in the Blind Forest. Last time on Ori in the Blind Forest, we made it back to Father Tree, which is our strict parent figure. This time, I am making my way toward the Jinjo Tree, which is the location for our first quest. I think it's this way. I'm going to check the map, though. Yeah, the Jin the Jinzo tree is way over there, so we need to go to the right. Through Hollow Grove. Be careful, Ori, the ground is unstable. I mean, I guess Hold on. There we go. So when the ground is unstable, I can go over it, but those creatures can't. And I'm going to go down. Oh, oh gosh. He's still alive. And I am almost not alive. Oh, another spirit already. Great. Anno, the spirit that died here, was strong and courageous. Listen to his voice. He was able to focus our light. This is also healing me, so that's good. You've learned Charge Flame. Use the, to use this ability, hold X to charge, then release X to detonate and damage everything in proximity. So we're going to have to try that immediately. So... I'm holding it, and we can see that Sen is kind of big now, and Sen explodes. And that also used one of my blue dots. So we've discovered a use for a blue dot. Oh, and the charge flames are how you open these barriers. There was a barrier behind us that we can now open too. Ooh. So here is another energy cell, I think. Do I have to... It's not an energy cell. It's something that I can explode with one of my existing energy cells. So by the way, there were a lot of things that we discovered new last time. So as I'm playing, I'm going to try to go through the giant list of things because it, it w was really too much. Okay, so that that moved down that thing up there. Presumably that makes it possible for us to traverse the top part. But I want to keep going down first. Yeah, this is where we just came from. So I want to go down. So on my big list of things that we learned about last time, the first is spirit light. Those are the tiny orange dots that we collect from pretty much ev everywhere. Ooh. So this one right here, this is a new thing. I found a large spirit-like container. Great. So we also got an ability point. Let's spend it. And most pickups will automatically be absorbed. Wonderful. The ultra spirit magnet. So that was a big spirit light container. So spirit light, they we get them from enemies, we get them from just things on the ground sometimes, or like some of the vegetation that we can destroy gives us spirit light. When we destroy that guy, we just got a bunch of spirit light. So we get them both from enemies, and we sometimes find them as containers in the world too. There's nothing over here. That's weird. Have we already been over here? That doesn't seem like a place we've been. Oh, this is a place we've been. Ah, we have just connected... We have just connected a couple of the places. We connected back to a place we were before we met Father Tree. So I'm trying to explain spirit light. 
Spirit Lake comes in in three formats that we found so far. One, we just got some from that, and we get it from enemies too. They're like little balls of orange. And then we have found small and large containers. The, the little ones we just find from anything. The large and small containers we find hidden on the map. So they're like things to collect. Whereas the small ones, there's, assume, I'm assuming, infinite amount of them. Ooh, that guy, that guy became little guys. And all of that spirit light, it fill, fills up that little circle on the bottom. I think there's no way for me to get way over there. Not yet, anyway. We'll need another ability. It fills that little orange circle at the bottom when I collect spirit light. Can I get up here? Or is this... I think this was designed specifically so that I could not get there yet. Energy cells are big blue things that are hidden on the map. Whoa. This guy is becoming a whole bunch of them. Oh no, the little ones can jump. Get him, Sen! See right here? When I hit this, uh, well, it came at me real quick because of my new abilities, but what I just picked up there was an energy shard. So an energy cell is a... whoops, I used the wrong thing. <laughs> I meant to use my explosive power. There we go. An energy cell is a big blue thing. It makes another blue dot at the bottom. And then an energy shard are blue bits that we find everywhere, and those fill up the blue dots. Similarly... Whoa. Oh man, so... I remember these enemies. Of all the things in this game that I remember, I remember those enemies. And I can't open that door because I need at least four big blue dots. So I need to collect more energy shell, energy cells. So life cells are very much like energy sh energy cells. They make the little green dots at the bottom. Ooh, look at that thing over there. There's no way I can get that. But it's definitely something to get. I need some special ability to do that. So if we explode this, I'm sure we crush something below us. I'm also going to open this one. And I got an achievement called A New Path. I wonder what I got that for. <laughs> Ouch. So this right here is what I was just talking about. This is a life cell. And now I have five green dots at the bottom. And then there's a little life shards, which come out of these things, which fill up my little green dots. So the life cells increase my total max life, and the life cell, the life shards increase my current health. Okay, I'm gonna drop down. Have I been over here? Yes, that's where I've been. Next is ability points. So... The green, or not green, the orange circle at the bottom, when I fill that all the way up, I get ability points. Oh, this is an energy cell. One more energy cell. I need one more before I can open that, that door that requires four blue dots. Ability, ability points I get by filling up the orange circle at the bottom. And once I do that, I can unlock abilities like the Ultra Magnet ability that I opened earlier in this game. They're like unique abilities that we can use to upgrade Ori generally. So that water is clearly poisonous. We're gonna not go in the water. That water is extremely purple. 
not the color you want for water. Whoa, I didn't know I could shoot that far away. I guess I can't shoot as far as this guy is, though. There we go, we got an ability point. I'm gonna spend it. I like saving my game and spending ability points. Oh! The Ultra Spirit mag Magnet requires two ability points. Energy pickups require reward 50% more energy. I don't really care about that one, but I care about this one. So I'm going to... I'm going to save up for this one so I can get the next one. Let's not go in the purple water. Very dangerous. Also, another new thing from last time was Spirit Wells. Spirit Wells are waypoints. And their waypoints are teleporters, where you have to discover the place, and then once you discover a place, you can teleport between the ones that you've discovered. We've discovered exactly one so far, which means they don't do anything for us yet. We need, we need to discover at least one more before we can actually activate their teleportation powers. And then there is Spirit Gates. Spirit gates are doors. They're just doors that I open by collecting keystones. Oh great, I can destroy some of these spikes over here. Keystones open spirit gates. There's also an energy gate, which I open with my, my blue dots. And there's map stones. Map stones unlock more of the map, but in order to do that, you need to collect the map stone fa fragment. Okay, that's a new enemy. Seems to just shoot out something in a parabola fashion. Yeah, this is a map stone right here. So I need a map stone fragment so that I can unlock this map stone. And I also see an a... what is it called? A spirit light container that's up there that I can't get. The one problem with my ultra spirit magnet, although I like it a lot, ho uh -oh, I think there's a secret right there. Let's see. Yes, it's a stump. Right. I don't know what to do with a stump, <laughs> but we found a secret that that we'll use later maybe. Also, last time, of course, we met a bunch of new characters, because, you know, we started the game. That's a great time to meet new characters. So I'm going to go through those as well. There's Nehru. Nehru is our mother figure. She died during the prologue. Ooh, there's a map stone fragment down there. But Nehru was our mother figure, and she basically brought us up. Mapstone Fragment. Great, I can go back to the mapstone, and it looks like I have to, because I can't get back up there except by going around. So we'll go back to the mapstone. Sin is the little, the little dot that's following me around. That's where the sparks come from. Quick thing, Ori does not attack things, it's Sen that's doing all the attacking. Ori is peaceful, Sen is the violent one. And Sen is a light from the spirit tree. Alright, that, that's a big map. Let's do it. There's Phil. We met Phil last time. Phil was one of the dead spirits. We found a tree for where Phil's spirit resided, and that's where we got our wall jumping skill. So thanks, Phil. We can move around because of Phil's spirit. Oh man, ah. 
So that one's just like the purple ones, except it leaves its shots on the ground. And they're like hot spots that you can't touch. They eventually explode, though. I think we're gonna kind of kite this guy. Kiting... Kiting is a gamer term. It means where you are walking away from an enemy that's chasing you while shooting behind you. So it's a way to deal with enemies that are big and scary like that one. Ooh, can he shoot right here? Like, if he shoots here, does it explode the, the bottom? No, it does not. Darn. I wonder how we get down that, that breakable thing. Because we don't have a hopper around here. Ooh, and there's a life cell down there. I want to go down there, but I don't... I don't know if I need an ability or if I need to use that enemy more effectively. So this... this little barrier is green. The ones that I've destroyed before, and I don't know why I'm having trouble getting up here. I guess I can't jump off of that little wall. Oh, I just did. So, I don't know if I can destroy this. Yeah, it's green. I guess green means something else. Um, he's green. Did he destroy- oh yeah, he destroyed the bottom so we can get the life cell. What's here? Continuing on from characters that we met last time, there was also Kuro. We didn't exactly meet Kuro last time, but Kuro is the antagonist of this game. Kuro is a giant owl. Oh my gosh. That... that killed me in one hit? That did six damage? Also... I think I lost all of my... the things that I collected. Oh man, I need to save more frequently. That enemy killed me in one hit? From full health? Okay, th this game is... This game is not very forgiving, apparently. I had no idea. We will have to save a lot more frequently than I have been. It's probably a good thing to do anyway, but... Wow. That was unexpected. Oh, it didn't even save the fact that we opened the map. Okay, well. Yep, the map stone fragment is still there. I'll have to remember everything that I did from the last time that I saved. I guess there's just no autosave at all. Don't think I went that way. That's a vicious game. At least remember the collectibles I've gotten. I don't mind having to traverse things again, but I really think that it should save the collectibles that I found. Oh well. Now that we've learned how it works, we will not make the same mistake. We got the map stone fragment, we'll unlock the map, and then we'll immediately save. The map is over here. And I guess the last character that we met last time, that I haven't mentioned yet, is the spirit tree. The spirit tree is our father tree, and is also the narrator of the story. Now, we went up here. I will save, because I said I would. And it's a good idea. 
because some enemies can kill you in one hit regardless of your life. Or they just deal more damage than I have life right now. That's also possible. So here's kiting again, where I am walking away from the enemy while firing behind me. Very effective, very effective technique for dealing with strong enemies. So I need to go down there to get the life cell. Here we go. So I have to jump over this guy. Oh gosh. Uh, well that, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> he didn't go far enough down. Does he respawn? He does respawn. There we go. Great. Now we're back to where we were with more knowledge. And we will save right there before the scary guy. And we basically need him to destroy himself. He can do it on that small little ledge down there. Now... Oh gosh. Run away. That, that does not seem safe. And I saw the green... We just died. <laughs> I will save when I get up there, too. How about that? I've already collected the life cell, so all I need to do is go upward. These little... I guess I'm gonna call them lava blobs. The little lava blobs seem to not target you directly. They seem to target around you. So as long as you don't move, you're fine. There was a little explosion there too. I don't know where the explosion came from. Save right here. Huh. How do we get it to go? How do we get it to hit that? He doesn't get all the way over there. Well, either I'm wrong about how that works, or I need to learn more before I can do that. And then... This is blocking me completely. Because it's a stump. I don't know how to deal with stumps. It's possible that I should not have come up here yet. I'm going to assume that because I did kind of go the wrong direction. But I got a bunch of stuff and I learned things. So experience and life cells have been acquired. And another ability point, which we're going to spend immediately after we attack this guy. Yeah. So this one, this one's fine. It's this one that I want. Makes the ability cells, cells show up on the map. Ability cells. That's not, that's not what I thought it was. I wonder, I wonder if that means the spirit-like containers. That's what I thought the first time. So now I'm curious whether there's another thing that we have not have not collected yet that's called an ability cell. And how would that be different from the spirit-like containers? I'm not sure. So the thorn felt swamp. Oh, I got hit. He apparently does a damage in a... Um, what is it called? He does damage in an area. By the way, my, my attacking in this game is 
just pressing the button a whole lot. I don't know if there's a better method than just pressing the button a whole lot. I don't seem to have any control over where Sen attacks, just that Sen attacks at all. Alright, so we've got to be... Ouch. <laughs> I was about to say we've got to be careful, and then I got hit by it. I'm going to the right first, but I think I'm supposed to bring this left so that I can get up that wall. Ooh. There we go. So this is a spirit well. It's a waypoint where we could warp. I don't know how to warp, though. How do you, how do you use it? Y to warp. Okay. I'm going to press Y just to see what it looks like. So I can select different, different teleportation locations that I've discovered. Different spirit wells. Push? Why am I not pushing? There it goes. Man. I think these would have been impossible the way that I first imagined them, where where you could not hit any of the spinning thing. But now that I know you can, you just have to not hit the purple heads. They're much easier. They're, you know, possible, I guess. This game... Oh. While Ori brought light and hope to the forest... Others gave in, embraced darkness and fear. Darkness and fear. A Guman from the forlorn ruins. We must follow his steps. We must get what he stole. Regain the water vein. Oh, so this is the Jinzo tree. Right here, I think. Without the water vein, the Jinzo tree is closed shut. So the water vein is how you get into the Jinzo tree, and the Guman stole it. I also got an achievement there that was named Get Back Here. <laughs> These achievements, the achievements that I've gotten so far seem to be primarily milestone achievements. Like they're, they're indicating how far in the plot of the game you've gotten more than anything else. They're not like a challenge. They're just a plot point. Ho ho, he just leaped straight down. Dangerous man. So I see this. And... Whatever I need to do to get at it, I don't have it yet. And then this is walled off, so I can't get there. I see purple, and purple means bad in this game. Oh my gosh. Oh, they destroyed the bottom there. So I got a spirit light container. Try to get into my head what the different things are. Oh no. I'm very surprised at how much my life held up there. I wonder if I got if I got life from defeating the enemies there. He's like a little frog. Leaping around like a frog. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, I see. I need to get them to destroy this block. Uh, I'm sprouting more of them? Is that is that really what I want to do? I'm questioning my my assumptions. Is this normal water? It, no, it's poisonous. I got hurt. 
It just looked for a second like normal water to me. I'm clearly going away from the current goal, but I wanted to see what was over here. Can I destroy this? No, I can't go through the ground with my explosion. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The explosion should work on the sides and the bottom. So, I need to go to the left. Ho ho, I got one to kill the other. But apparently I need them to destroy this. And then... He destroys that. There we go. That's a weird section. You, you like, work with the tentacle enemies to get through the path. The Moon Grotto. He did that very... This is a good place to save my game. That was very acrobatic. I don't know if I can do the same... the same skill level that that creature just did. I wonder if I can go against this wall. I wonder if I can make it to that right wall. Nope. Let's just go down, I guess. Here, hit this wall. Except grab the wall this time. These are another thing that destroy you in one hit. Granted, they look like they would destroy you in one hit. So it's a little... it's a little more expected, I guess. Oh, man. I need to grab that wall. I'm noticing that it's putting me back to three health when I get to my save point two. So when you save your game, you're saving, like, everything about your current... your current situation. Including your current health, and I guess your current blue dot level. And I should definitely save my game here. Just wanted to see if I could get up there. I don't think I can. It looks like I'm passing just straight through the thing that I want to step on. Oh well. Save the game so that we don't have to go through those lasers again. I'm causing this, this little spider thing to swing. And those are a whole bunch of spikes. So I think we'll go down. Instead of trying to go across the spikes. And that's a whole bunch of spikes too. I have no idea how to do that, so we're going to avoid it. At this point, I have a couple of abilities, but not enough to do much other than the, the one path I can see. Woo! Another spirit well for the moon grotto. <laughs> I like how he did that. He drops the ball and then he follows after it by just dropping off himself. I said that I couldn't do things except for the one path that I could see. Ooh, do I have to make him... <laughs> So I got two achievements there. I got self-destruction and crushing blow. <laughs> two achievements for that one foolish action action. Which makes it not a foolish action at all, correct? Do you get achievements for it? So what if I just... Oh gosh, there's another one. I honestly did not see that other crusher. 
Let's try it again. I'm going to save my game past this part so I don't have to watch that cinematic every time I die due to those crushers. So let's save the game here. And this is probably going to be my last room right here. I'm just going to see if I can get to the top of it, I guess. It looks like a room that we would go to the top. I did land directly in the middle of those little spiky creatures. That was intended, but I also was a little surprised that I did it the first time. There's a crusher. Ooh. All right, so I need to ride the crusher up. Yeah. Another energy cell. I have to say, one of the things about this game is that you just keep getting things all the time. Ho oh, ho. That was a sneaky crusher. So if I have him crush through that, well, he didn't actually fall through, so what I was going to test didn't work. I wanted to see if he would die from the poisonous water. I apparently can't attack the one way down there. Oh, got it. And then... Yeah! And this is a good place to save. So I'm going to follow the Guman guy and get the water vein next time. In this episode, I continued to make progress on most everything. The two new characters that we found were Anno, who gave us the charge flame, and Gumo, who stole the water vein. If you'd like to see a detailed tracking sheet, there's a link in my video description. New videos every Saturday, and thanks for watching.